His music was a plea to stop the violence. Last night, he became the latest homicide victim in Philadelphia. 28-year-old Derek Gant, also known by his rap name Fat G's, was gunned down on a Broy Town street on the same block where he lived with his family. Monday night, the big story on Action News is the investigation into the violent death of a young man who used his lyrics to spread a message of peace. Tonight, he's being remembered by his family, his community, and his fellow musicians. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, live for us now at police headquarters with more on the victim and what police are learning through the investigation, Annie. Yeah, and sorry, and Rick, that victim was shot multiple times right in front of his home. Police scooped him and rushed him to Penn Presbyterian Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. And today, homicide detectives are still working to figure out who is responsible. 28-year-old rapper Fat G's is remembered today in the music world. Meek Mill tweeted this about his untimely passing. Popular radio host Mina Say What Lona first interviewed him 10 years ago. Yo, bro, we're going back to the studio. It's just really heartbreaking that this man, this young man, was literally advocating against the census violence that ultimately he was the victim of. It was just last fall when he dropped this song, No Gun Zone, about curbing gun violence. His friends and family know him as 28-year-old Derek Gant. He was a good dude, you know. All yesterday, we all together yesterday praying at the masjid. All day, he doing his good deeds, trying to feed the homeless. 10 p.m. Sunday, right in front of his brewery town home in the 1200 block of North Taney Street, Gant was shot to death. At least a dozen shots were fired. His mother was inside. Today, out front, his friends and family surrounded his imam. That's what, you know, the, one of the last things that, you know, he died doing, you know, mm -hmm. trying to repair the damage that sadly the culture has caused. Investigators have video of Gan speaking to someone in the passenger side of a vehicle on the street before the shots rang out. That vehicle then fled. At this hour, police have no arrests. Too many people are dying. Time for excuses are over. And you can see the outpouring of support for Gant on social media. With every homicide in the city of Philadelphia, there is a $20,000 reward for information that does lead to an arrest and a conviction. If you have any information, 215-686-TIPS. For now, reporting live in front of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. All right, Annie, thank you.